This star citizen community is blinded and toxic. Welcome to a long expected new episode on my star citizen channel. I'm Drake, and first of all I would like to thank everyone which despite my long break stayed on my channel. Of course I want to apologize to you all due to problem at work and health problems of both of my parents, whereby both were brought to the hospital in turn. I was unfortunately unable to find time for my channel and star citizen. No worries, my parents were not affected by covid and both are fine again. Only the two kept taking turns who is currently in the hospital and not in the same city. But enough of that, let us come to the subject. As the title uh, says, I want to talk about the community here, especially since it was the Star Citizen birthday this month. There was also a nice video from Cloud Imperium with the title Star Citizen One Community. You can find the link in the description below, which showed us how closely the community is connected and I can only confirm that for myself. Nevertheless, people kept telling us that we are blinded and at worst we are portrayed as idiots. What's funny, because I always thought I would decide freely and independently with what I spend my free time. I myself always point out in my videos when it comes to whether you should buy the game, that Star Citizen is still in development. If you want to buy the game, the basic starter package is completely enough, you can purchase the ships in the game or join a crew on a bigger ship. Nobody has to buy the shop empty. And if the risk is too great for you, but you are interested in the game, then you can register for free. To stay up to date with the developments and you can during the course of the year, on a free fly weekend or week, try the game for free, without fear any purchase obligation. So it's up to you to decide whether you want Star Citizen or not, and if someone wants to discuss it Cloud Imperium does not deliver, the one should perhaps first ask what the other publisher have over the past decade promised and have really delivered. You will quickly find out that we kept getting sudden graphic downgrades or features are no longer available, or were submitted much later, or we got it in a modified form. But now what does the community really look like internally? I want to talk to you about my experience and impressions in the game itself. When people need to be safe or have problems finding their way around the game, the chat has always been helpful. If you want to take a look at a ship what you don't own, so there's usually someone who likes to show you the ship if he can. And if someone complains about the game again and calls the community stupid, the community moves closer together. I haven't experienced that in any other community so far. Let us not talk about the communities that are very toxic, and in the friendliest case you will only be asked to uninstall the game. Before you call me a preacher, I want to mention here that the community also likes to ask about everything, like changes to the roadmap or delays. As an example I recommend you to stop by Salt E Mike on the channel. What I unfortunately have also to talk about is that we are not all helpful uh, saints on, in the community. I don't mean those players who pursue the pirate carrier, but players who provide commands like the following. This is about a German player who unfortunately is now so annoyed by players who own large ships, such as a Carrack or the 890 jump and have nothing better to do with it than pushing or crushing ships of the landing platform as Port Olisa, as an example. Each of us knows the problem that Star Citizen likes to crash. And everyone knows how frustrating it is to lose a mission that would have been profitable. It is worse when you have a hold full of goods and everything just before you can sell it again get lost due to a crash. So here's my question. Why do those people enjoy breaking other people's game experience? Don't you really have anything better to do with your life? It's the same as players who run an aimbot and immortality script in FPS games and then celebrate themselves for a perfect headshot round. I mean these people haven't done anything and it's not a skill when a script hits the target automatically for, uh, for them. They just annoy normal gamers. So are these people not better who trolling other players at Star Citizen and ruin their fun? Or do you see it differently? 
But I also think that there are, is really a small number of players who are trolls, and that we other players form the majority, so that you really can't call the community toxic. I've only been trolled two or three times in all these years, but I think we don't want either that it becomes a standard at the end and that someone calls our community toxic. I want our community to stay that way and grow as it is presented to us in the video one community. And posts like this don't become standard. What's your opinion about it? I know the video got a little longer than I wanted. But I hope you enjoyed it and I can greet you again the next time. Your Astrek.